Good day, and you're welcome to a bright new day. You can remember very well that the last lesson we talked about how to write uh, numbers in Roman numerals. For today, our main objective is to write in the reverse way. That is, how to write our Hindu Arabic numbers in Roman numerals. That is our main objective for today's lesson, to write our numbers in what? Our Roman numerals in Hindu Arabic. Now, look at the number we have here. This is a number written in Roman numerals. MD CXX VII. Note that in our last lesson we said, if you have a smaller number coming before the bigger number, you need to subtract. And you remember our basic, the values for our basic Roman numerals? M stands for 1000, D for 500, C for 100, X for 10, V for 5, I for 1. Also, you remember V bar to be 5000. Now, let's go to the question over here. Over here, we don't have any number to be subtracted because no smaller number has come before a bigger one. Now, let's see how we got the answer here. M, 1000, D, 500, C, 100, XX, 20, Y, V, I, I, I is what? 8. All you need to do is what? Add up the numbers and get your answer. I believe you can do this simple addition. That is why I'll leave it to you to do in the next two seconds. Okay, let me make it five seconds. Well done. Can we see the answer now? 1628. If you got the answer, you need to just, just smile and give yourself a pat on the back. Well done. Similarly, in this second example, you will agree with me that none of them should be subtracted. All the letters we have there, the bigger numbers come before the smaller ones. So all we need to do is just do what? Get their figures, their values, and add up. Let's see what we got. I, I believe as you're looking at it, you're already getting the answer. So let's see what the answer will be. In expanded form, we have 3,000 for MMM, 200 for CC, 7 for VII. So let's do the addition and get our answer, which is 3,207. Well done. Now, the next one, you are yourself. Look at this. This one involves subtraction, as you may note. And I want you to always identify where the subtraction is and work it out. Look at it now. D for 500, C for 100, XX for 20, while IV is for what? 4. You remember what I said about smaller number coming before the bigger number? IV, meaning 5 minus 1, 4. So the final answer is 624. These are our practice questions. The practice questions here involve both cases. The first case is writing our Hindu Arabic in Roman figures. The second is for you to write our Roman figures in Hindu Arabic numerals. So you have 10 questions there, and I believe you are going to get them very well. Meanwhile, I would advise you don't go to the next slide until you have provided the solution to these questions by yourself. So, you have to time yourself, maybe like 10, 20 minutes, make sure you've copied 
you've completed the answers before you move to the next slide which contains the answers to these questions so i'll show it to you now but then make sure you do it before you move to the next slide as you can see the answers are here but then we need to quickly run through what we've learned this week number one you should be able to identify your roman numerals i told you the basic letters are six of them m for 1000 d for 500 c for 100 l for 50 x for 10 and v for 5 y i is for 1. you also remember that v bar stands for 5000 for numbers that are up to that you should also remember that we should not have more than combination of a number cannot appear more than three times in a particular number so like x cannot apply appear more than three times c cannot appear more than three times and so go it goes for the remaining uh, letters and remember that when you're writing in hindu arabic you make sure you write you uh, identify the numbers that you need to subtract first like if you have a smaller number a smaller number before the bigger one make sure you subtract to get you know the number for it the last one that you also need to remember whenever you're writing in hindu arabic from uh, roman numerals i mean from roman numerals to hindu arabic make sure you expand the number first and get your answer so well done and i wish you a beautiful day make sure you sit practice more and do more questions from your textbooks thank you and well done